Listen, I think everybody is focusing on the wrong problem with Dragon's Dogma 2. Now is the time to take your place among the worthy. We're talking a lot about microtransactions and there was some coverage on the technical problems for the PC port, but that's the most important problem, not the microtransactions. And I really want to discuss with you how I think it's very detrimental for the game and the game industry if we focus on the wrong problem. And this time, microtransactions are not the biggest one. What is going on with the microtransaction and Dragon's Dogma 2? So they added some microtransaction in the store that you can buy and this microtransaction makes no sense to buy at all uh, most of the in-game item that you can buy for money they can be obtained during the game some of them really early and some of them have even better variants in 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 the game that you can acquire but honestly this is not the problem yeah it's shitty that there are microtransactions in this game uh, but they don't ruin the experience it's a single player game you can decide to buy them or not it's up to you and i honestly don't agree with the whole oh it's a you know if this game does it it's a authorization for a future game to do it as well it's, it already happened it, microtransactions are everywhere by the way microtransaction is a <laughs> difficult word to pronounce so sorry for butchering it and also like I, I heard many uh, YouTubers say Capcom didn't deliver this time and uh, it was betrayal from them. And I mean, it's not the first time they do it. If you look for Resident Evil Village, right? Which has an overwhelmingly positive review on Steam, right? And if you go in the micro transaction section, there are many, um, you know, cosmetics, which are fine and everybody agrees that are fine. But then there is this one, the Resident Evil Village Survival, Survival Resource Pack, which basically gives you items that can be obtained also in the game for a small price. So what are we talking about? It's it, Capcom already did it and no one blamed either the game or Capcom at the time so I don't see why uh, doing it now. I get it that they are more, but again, it's a single player game. You can decide to buy them or not. Just don't buy them and leave a mostly negative review, whatever, so they get the point. But it's not a big fuss. The big fuss should be the fact that Dragon's Dogma 2 is not playable on PC. You know, it's not running on most computer. Uh, that people can access to. Yeah, of course, high-end computer can handle it with a 4090 RTX and, uh, you know, the, the last generation uh, CPUs. That's the biggest problem. That's what people should be mad at. The fact that the system requirements suggested by by Capcom and for the game, um, they are a joke, it's not, it's not true. Uh, it will not run smoothly on this, not even a 1080, uh, a 30 FPS. They will just not, it's, it's just too intense the game, especially in the cities where all the uh, NPC uh, CPU drain will come into a factor. In the open world, probably you will be able to run it, but I'm not sure, it will not be stable, as it says here, very conveniently. And these recommended, I will also not trust these at all. So my point is the biggest problem is the port on PC for this game. And this should not happen. Like you should not release a game that is not ready for PC. If it's not ready, you should wait and you should release it only on consoles. As they did with, with Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter released on PC one year later. And that's fine. I mean, people were pissed. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but that was way better than doing this. And for the main problem, we should be met at the PC port, not at the microtransaction. And I think that the the developer and the um, and Capcom got the message because 
they are already starting to fixing it. There, there was a uh, patch the 29th of uh, February, which addresses some of the issue, but without improving performance on PC, but they're already doing something. So they are improving the DLSS and also on PlayStation, they are doing some stuff. And I mean, it just came out. I think they just need time at this point. If we if we go in depth into the, the update, basically they add some stuff on PlayStation that should be there from the beginning. So like uh, the options to start a new game where uh, another save data is already uh, existing. Duh. Yeah, and they are fixing some other mission. They are making the quest for player to save and rest earlier in the game. Okay, fine. And also other... Uh, minor bugs and text display issue. So they are already starting to do something and that's what accounts. So now they have to keep doing it. They need to improve the quality on PC and they need to make it available and possible to play for people that don't have a state of the art PC that costs 4,000 euros because many, many people cannot afford it. That's the main concern. That's the main problem. The performance, not the stupid, stupid microtransaction that needs to be addressed. Yes, for sure. But they are not the main topic. I don't get it why people get so mad about these. Just ignore them. It, it's better to ignore them than to address it every time. It's, it's just a fact. They are everywhere. I think that this wave of hate came from the creators the content creators because unfortunately it's easier to get views and interest out of a pessimistic video something that blames something so the game sucks the game is terrible the game is not optimized which in this case is is actually true the game is not well optimized on pc but uh, it's not a betrayal is it this microtransaction does not affect the game the game is a good game i'm i'm playing it on playstation 5 and it works i mean you have also there some performance issues in some areas, but it's playable. It's it's fine. I, I don't I don't think it's unplayable on console. It's unplayable unplayable on PC, and that's the biggest problem, not the microtransaction. We should stop focusing on the wrong problem. It's fine to address it because these microtransactions are just you know annoying to to see and to be there. But honestly. When I boot the game, I didn't even notice on PlayStation, maybe on Steam they are more accessible and easy to see. But the first thing I did when I bought the game was install it and play it. I didn't even look at the microtransaction. They are not invasive. They are not in the game, like in the store or popping in. They're just in the Steam store or in the PlayStation store and just don't buy them. So I hope this video was entertaining to a certain level i i kind of had to get this out of my chest if you like the video or if you have some comments uh please leave it in the comment section and let me know what you think i i know that you're gonna have different opinions so i will really want to know them and i hope to see you soon to the next one